Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and a few days ago, I um, actually rescued a European fire ant colony. Um, the next door neighbour was having a new drive put in. The old flag drive was being brought up, and during mating flights, I was out on his drive catching ants, and this is where he discovered that I collect ants. And when his um, builders disturbed a large ant nest, he come round and give me a knock. This is footage shot from the day. Now, I couldn't get footage and it was a really drawn out long process separating the ants from soil. Really long process. So I didn't really get any video of that. The most I got was just after I hooked up the Grout Outworld, minutes later. And that's what you're seeing now. And it's a little bit rough around the edges as it was totally impromptu done on my phone. Now, let's move on to current day. And they have settled in very well. And it turns out that there is quite a lot of queens to this colony. At least three or four. And they've also become large enough to produce elites. Because they've got a number of about three or four winged princesses and at least two um, winged males walking around that I've seen. As far as um, queens go, I've counted at least three or four, but it's quite hard to tell. I'm currently feeding them on maggots, little microscopic maggots from the common housefly. This is what you can see being eaten here now, that the work is concentrating on as I know it's a food source that the fire ants take because my other way smaller colony is stubborn and won't take what the other ant colonies take so they've been difficult and awkward so I've been experimenting with all sorts of different sort of live foods and this little housefly maggot is tiny we're talking smaller than the ants themselves and they take it so I had them in so I tried it with this fire ant colony and it worked a treat. Now these shots are of the colony around the different chambers. The first shots were all done in this chamber two. Now this chamber here is another brood chamber and this is the chamber one closest to the entrance of the nest. This is where most of the queens reside actually and there's a corridor, the corridor out of the nest is where all but a few of my winged males and females are hanging out with a lot of guard workers, as you can see in the top. But you can see a male frantically running round down there in the corridor. Now you see him walking round, he's a male, and you see the queen, she's still. This is a wider pan shot. As you can see, this colony is quite large but, and is quite happy in a nice standard size 3, which I had lying around. It's the old model, but it's ideally suited to the fire ants. Now they've settled down, the outworld is a much quieter place from the original footage at the start of this video. We have just a few um, royal guards, I would say, and, you know, the odd foraging, and this is mainly a response to me taking the lid off. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as this colony progresses, I'll bring you updates when significant things happen, like a large growth spurt, uh, or the queens try and fly in the outworld, anything along them lines, I'll bring you an update on. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and as always I'll catch you next time.